felt so helpless, you know, and I felt like there was nothing I can do. 60 to 90 days. That's how long some families in Hayes County are waiting to get their children treatment for substance use. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Daniel Marino. And I'm Britt Moreno. Hayes CISD students are saying that more students are coming forward asking for help after some of their classmates have died, but they too are having trouble finding a place that will take them in. KXAN Sarah Alsha explains why treatment centers are saying there is such a long wait list. I don't want to lose them. It's a fight every day. A fight against drugs and alcohol. He was sneaking out and getting drunk um, and, you know, started to be destructive. It's a little beyond marijuana uh, and it's a problem. Carrie Jeffrey's 16 year old son is one of many young people in Hayes County battling substance abuse. Carrie tried to get him help at a treatment center. There's just a huge wait list anywhere you go for help. I felt like there's nothing I can do. Making call after call, days turned into weeks, nearly three months passed with no luck. I and mean, it's the most terrifying waiting game that you can. Uh, imagine as a parent. The wait almost cost her son his life. Before she found a place, her son overdosed on fentanyl. Carrie says only then did a center open up a spot for him. It's something Hey CSD says they've been seeing a lot. Yeah, you can't wait 60 or 90 days if you have someone who has an addiction and who's reaching out for help. The district says more than a dozen students have sought out help to receive treatment after four Hey CSD students died from fentanyl overdoses. That's critical and important time that you don't have when you're trying to get somebody off of an addiction, especially one as deadly as fentanyl. One of those facilities slammed with calls is the Phoenix House. This right here is where our teenagers bunk. We have seen a, an increase um, just in overall need for adolescents. Um, but specifically for the, the fentanyl use. They've had a wait list for months now with just not enough staff to support the demand. Wait list that we have right now, it's looking like it's gonna be several months um, until we can get some of these folks in here. Luckily for Carrie, one of those beds will be for her son. He starts treatment on Friday. And while the journey here took months, she's still grateful. He's choosing life, his life, and um, that's amazing to me. Sarah Olshek, KXAN News. And all the best to that family tonight. The Phoenix House says even though they can't offer any beds at this moment, they keep in touch with the families and offer them other resources in the meantime. In Hayes County, schools could soon receive $200,000 for behavioral health services through grants provided by American Rescue Plan funding. Now, the money would help get more counselors and resources inside of schools, including the option for mental health and substance use services. Commissioners will take a final vote to approve their funding at their next court meeting. Another $20,000 will soon be available to the Hayes County Sheriff's Office to continue community outreach efforts. According to their office, in the last two months, four Hayes CISD students overdosed and died because of fentanyl. Since then, the Sheriff's Office has been doing community presentations and nearby districts are reaching out. Obviously, Hayes County is our priority, but... Um... Other areas within Central Texas have taken notice about what we're doing down here at, at the Sheriff's Office. Lake Travis ISD has reached out to me to do presentations. Eanes ISD has reached out for us to come and do presentations or to train their SROs. Uh, Round, Rock, Round Rock Middle Schools have reached out. The money will be used to develop more public service announcements, purchase video equipment, and create pamphlets to continue to raise more awareness about this growing problem.